Imagine this. You've been lost in a forest for a couple days. You've been looking for your way back to civilization when you finally find the right path and you're on your way home. There's one problem, though. Separating you from your way out of there is an extremely wobbly, cricking, and sky-level bridge that's stationed in the middle of a forest canyon. Now tell me, how are you feeling right at this moment? Unless you're Tarzan, you're probably scared out of your mind right now. Your eyes are nervously blinking and aiming to get a good enough image. You're fidgeting with your hands. You feel your face swelling up with sweat. You're unsure whether or not you'll make it out alive. Don't those symptoms sound a little familiar? Like when going on a promising first date. Or when you're in the movie theater because your friends dragged you to see the latest horror movie. Or a job interview to land that dream position. In other words, we're aroused. Scientists define arousal as alertness, engagement, and a heightened level of physical activity, such as an elevated heart rate. Psychologists Donald Dutton and Arthur Aaron conducted a classic experiment testing attraction. They put men onto two different bridges. One was an extremely shaky, tall one, like the one we discussed earlier, while the other was a more stable, shorter one. Dutton and Aaron speculated that walking across the bridge stirred up a sense of arousal and that these participants would mistakenly think they were attracted to the female experimenter that greeted them. However, the two psychologists state that the arousal wouldn't derive from the experimenter's attractiveness, but rather it's a result of the intensiveness of crossing the shaky bridge. Their findings were interesting. The males who crossed the wobbly bridge were more likely to call the experimenter and their story of the picture contained more sexual content. Scientists say the men on the less sturdy bridge mistakenly took this arousal yielded from crossing the bridge and assumed it was because they were attracted to the female experimenter, therefore pursuing her and calling her later. Dr. Benjamin Lee states that this misplacing of attraction can be directly tied to effective dating advice. If you want your date to potentially feel more aroused around you, pick out a scary activity. Watching a horror movie, going to a scary tourist attraction or theme park, web searching haunted locations, that are legal and safe, or picking out an activity that they fear but want to overcome. So what are your thoughts? Comment below and be sure to like and subscribe to see more content like this from Psych2Go. Thank you for watching.